Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pair of pillow shams. And a pillow sham is a quilted pillowcase that you have on the top of your bed to dress your bed when you've got a beautiful quilt on it. So I've used this Tula Pink Free Spirit range. This is part of me using a fat quarter pack. So what I did was I saved the fabric that I liked best out of this pack and it's the Flamingo one. So I'm making a pair of pillow shams. So it's really, really simple. It's just a mini quilt and it's got some white cotton on the back and it's got an envelope back here that you tuck your pillowcase in. Now the thing to remember when you're making a pair of pillow shams is you need your flap for where your pillow goes in at opposite sides so that when they're on your double bed you've got an opening for your pillow one side and an opening on the other side for the other pillow so you just need to bear that in mind especially when you're using directional fabric so this measures approximately 20 by 30 inches and so what I've done is I've made the top of this one already. Let me just pop that out of the way a second. I've made the top of this one already. And all I've done is I took my center panel and then I've just added strips to it. But I've obviously done both exactly the same. So I've just worked out what I've got left. Great way for using scraps again, especially when it's a brightly colored fabric like this one. So you can see here that I've got a strip of yellow didn't quite have enough so I put a piece of green but I've done that on the other one as well and then I've just gone down in strips and where I haven't got a long enough strip I'm trying to find it now maybe it's on the other one I just joined two pieces so it's really random and it's great when it's busy fabric the next thing I did was I put it on a calico back I've got my wadding in the middle calico on the back and this lovely pattern on the front and I've done a cross across there and there. And then I've gone around it with another stitch. And then I've just gone around each of these lines. I've used the seam as a marker for some of my quilting. And then I've used the width of the foot for some of these quilt lines. So you can quilt it however you want. So then when you've done that, you trim it up like you would trim any other quilt. So I'm just going to trim back my wadding. Oh, we haven't quite gone through there. Maybe it's time for a new blade. We come to the end of the project. Right, and then I'm gonna trim the other side. So I'm now gonna make the envelope back. So I've cut a piece of white cotton and I've cut it the size of my quilt. So whatever size you're making. And then I've put a double hem here. So you can see originally it was that size and then I have folded it back and folded it back. So I've put a hem on it. So that's gonna form the back of our pillow. Then I've got a smaller piece, which I've done the same. I folded the hem and folded the hem again. And that's going to go, so that will be on the inside in a moment. And that will form this part of the pillowcase. So I've just got to make sure that I've got my flamingos going the right way when I attach these to my quilt. So I need to make sure, I'll show you what I mean. I need, need to make sure that I've got one going one way and one going the other way. So I need to make sure that the opening of my pillowcase is the opposite side to that one. So that one opens there. So this one needs to open here. So I'm going to attach my big piece so this is where the opening is. I'm going to attach my big piece down here. 
So right sides together, I'm going to sew down there. And right sides together of my shorter piece, I'm going to sew down here. So I'm just going over to the sewing machine to do that. If you like what we do on our YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. You can also follow us on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, where there's lots of hints and tips, there's behind the scenes, and there's pictures of customers' makes. So I've got a walking foot on my machine because I'm going through lots of layers. And I have increased my stitch length from two and a half to three. So I'm just going to trim that back because it's slightly bigger than the width of the front quilted piece. And the thing to remember is with whichever piece you want on the inside of your pillow or cushion has to be on the outside when you sew because we're sewing on the opposite side. So I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit. Perhaps my measurements weren't as accurate as I thought. So I'm just going to tidy this up. Always better to have it slightly too big than too small. Now remembering that I want this shorter piece on the inside, when I'm sewing it now, I need to make sure it's on the outside so that when we turn it through, it then goes onto the inside. I'm just gonna pop a couple of pins in to hold that. I'm actually just going to do a double check before I sew it that I have got the pillow slip on the right side. I've got the opening on the right side. Yep, I have. I'm going back to the machine to sew down each side. When you get to this piece where you're going to have a bit of pressure on your opening for your pillow, you can go backwards and forwards just to do a little locking stitch. And the next thing to do is to snip off your corners. So just carefully snip back some of the bulk from these corners. And then we're going to turn it through.
and then you give it a good press and you pop your pillow in and hey presto you've got a pair of pillow shams and we've got our opening the right way because we've got our peacocks going in that direction. So imagine those on your bed with the lovely tulip pink quilt that we did in a previous tutorial. Wouldn't that just be stunning? So as always, have fun and I look forward to seeing you here in the sewing studio the next time.